and welcome to today's video. So today is my everyday go-to summer makeup look. This is what I've been doing recently. I've really been loving it. It's a no tinted moisturizer. It's proper foundation, full on, because those of us who've got oily skin or acne prone skin or just like our foundation basically, um, this is the makeup look for you. It's gonna hold up through the heat. You're not gonna look overdone. You're gonna look like a glowing goddess. So if you wanna see how I created this look, carry on watching. Good morning, so I thought we'd do a little get ready with me. The makeup that I, basically the makeup I had on in my previous videos, but I'm just gonna use a different setting powder because I wanted to show you how I set my foundation with Bare Minerals Matte, because I know you want to see how I do that. So, I'm gonna start off with foundation and I'm using Double Wear 2W1 Dawn. Now, I know a lot of people say, gosh, you know, how can you wear um, foundation in the summer, but you know, for me, I'm the tint, tinted moisturizer is, is pointless because it's just gonna melt on my skin. I rather put, I, I rather wear a long um, lasting foundation than um, a tinted moisturizer. I just can't get on with it. It's fine if I'm not doing any other makeup and um, and it's a Sunday, but if I'm doing makeup, you know. So, just a nice light covering of Double Wear will do. See, it's not actually as full coverage as you might think it is. It's actually a very, very light coverage. See, I'm not, I'm not too, um, and that's why I like to set with a sort of foundation powder rather than do a lot of layers of the liquid. I'm just gonna blend that down. You know, you can still see my imperfections and everything else. Okay. I'm going with concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Gosh, it's El Scorchio. And the thing is, we've got these trees across the road that white, like white fluff comes off them. So we can't even like open the window or because it just, all this fluff comes in. It's so annoying. I could scream. It's literally like it's snowing. And I don't really know what can be done about it because this happens every year. And you know, for it to be sunny, to you know, to have warm weather like for two months a year, and then you can't even like enjoy it and sit outside and open windows because of this stuff is, it's a liberty basically. I like my L'Oreal Infallible on the eyelids. Oh, and in the corners. I am going to do a summer style video. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah. So that goes on the eyelids. Just to brighten that upper eye. And whatever's left, I'll go underneath. Like so. Okay. I've been setting my under eyes with the Huda Beauty um, pound cake, simply because it's such a light powder. Like it's just so, you don't feel like, you know, you're putting too much on. It's so light and it's so smoothing that 
I really like I, I really want to get the peach blossom one. I don't know, what is it? Pink blossom? Goodness. Look, if you love makeup, you love makeup, you'll you will you will understand, you know what I mean? There's like people that buy a million pair of shoes. Like, I'm just not a shoe person whatsoever. So that's set that. Right, okay, now. I often like to set with Bare Minerals Matte. This is the shade Golden Nude. Unlike the original, it gives a very glowy finish without the shine. That's what's quite spectacular about this. Now, I like to use a brush like this. It's kind of, this is a real techniques mini multitasker, just a fluffy brush basically. And I swirl into my lid and I just start on the outside and I gently buff and tap. And what I kind of do is just get it on first and then start to buff. And the reason why I say um, I start to buff is because it can kind of just stick. If you just pat it down immediately, it kind of sticks and then you get those kind of clumpy marks. Whereas if you blend it in, once you've got it down, you can blend it. And this just gives a really nice finish to the skin. I like to really concentrate around here with a very light hand. A very, very light hand. But this is a really nice colour. If you've got a foundation that's slightly, you know, slightly light, then this shade is a really nice shade. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye, never mind. I like to get in here because it's quite shiny. So that's the Bare Minerals Matte. I think it gives a more natural finish than the Vichy Derma Blend. The Vichy Derma Blend throughout the day can look a bit, you know, this one just looks a little bit softer, which is kind of what I'm after. Um, in this kind of weather. Oh, my elbow. Um, okay. Bronzer, ambient lighting. I love this. It's just, I use a brush like this. This is the Bare Minerals Seamless Shaping. And then I suck my cheeks in. And very lightly, You see? Nice, isn't it? I know. Then, for blush, I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals one, Pure Indulgence, which is um, a limited edition. But, it's, I love it. It's so nice. I'm sure you can find colours like this. It's kind of like Berry Amore Milani. And then I just buff that in at the very top bits of my cheeks here. And on the nose. And it just gives a really nice glow. Love. Where is my okay brows? I'm going to go very soft on the brows because lately my brows have been looking a bit angry birds. Um, so I'm just going to try and stay in the centre here. Because they're so uneven. I just can't get... 
comes this brow pencil is everything. Make sure you do your brows in front of a window because chances are, I've done it before, I've done it in not natural lighting. I have one brow that looks more brow than the other. That's brow. I like to just set it with Bare Mineral Strength and Length, which is a slightly lighter colour. Just gives it a bit of... And I can go into the front bit. I think I'd want a darker colour of this. This is far too light, but it's fine over a darker colour. Okay, now, what I did with my eyes was I used the Bonjour. Bonjour. Mange tu, mange tu. This is just a fan dabby dozy, fan dabby dozy eyeshadow palette. If you want that kind of glowy, glowy, glowiness, then this is the one for you, okay? Now, what I did was I went in with this very light shade, which is this one here. Okay, it's 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 just and I tell you what I like about these because they're almost like a cream. They don't drop. So I'm going to place that all over the lid right in the corner all the way up. Get into that corner as well. See? All over the lid. Right into the corner. All the way up. And into the corner, like so. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy rounded brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade here which is it's such a slight difference in color but the difference is so nice and subtle it just works so i roll my brush in here and i focus on this upper eyelid bit here so above the crease so can you see it's above the crease i like to turn my head to the side make sure i get that out like that but can you see you wouldn't probably notice the difference between the colours, but once you place it on, it's so different. Do you know what I mean? It just kind of lifts the eye. And they're just easy to put on. And also they stay put, they don't crease. I just put this on the edge here. And I kind of wiggle it into the corner there. Then I take a pencil brush like that and I go in with this um, bronzy shade here, just under the eyelids. Sorry, under, sorry, lower lash line. Like so. And I'm also going to use it on the top lash line as well. God, I don't know how to put eyeliner on without stretching my eye. I see girls do it and I'm like, my God, how do you do it? So I put that on the top. I'm going to have to stamp it on. Yesterday I had, oh, not yesterday, in the other video I had um, my Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner as well, but it's so hard to get it across the eye without, I can't do my eyeliner without doing this. Do you know what I mean? There. So you see you get just a really nice, soft, soft look it's quite nice isn't it if you don't want to do any liquid liner and what have you um i'm gonna put some mascara on i 
I'm still loving this um, Rimmel scan, no, what is it? Thrill Seeker. So good. It is so, so this is my second, second tube of it, because I just think it's Brill. And you can really layer it up. And last week, it's not waterproof, but I went in the pool. Oh my God, I was, so hot, um, and, it, and it didn't kind of, it didn't come off, it didn't smudge anywhere. There you go, I'm gonna put some on the, a little bit on the lower lash line. A smidge on the lower lash line. Right, now, the lips that I did, again, sometimes I don't wanna faff with lip liner. It's like, you know when you forget how to do your makeup, and you're like, ooh, your, li your lip liner, and eyeliner is like, mm. honestly. Bare Minerals, Bare Pro Petal. If you know, you know. And these are matte, so it's not gonna budge. It's comfortable. You don't need a lip liner. That's what I love about these as well. And then over the top, this is the Bare Minerals Buttercream Gloss in Forbidden. I just put that on in the middle there. Let's do lay setting spray this is if it's hot this is going to be just a delight to use and then i oh isn't that wonderful i should actually go sometimes i stand in front of the fan I'm glad I've got a makeup look because you know when you go through these phases where you're like you're not just you're not sticking to a makeup look and I'm like oh my gosh I need to find a makeup look that I do every day I just couldn't stick to one and I was trying trying a million different things every day and I kind of now I'm kind of like hmm I like this and there we go glowy fresh juicy stay put summer makeup look doesn't feel heavy doesn't feel like too much just makes you look fresh let me know what your go-to summer makeup look is. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're well, and I'll chat to you soon. Ta-da!